Oh hell, I'll start now. Welcome everybody, it's Turbo Terramino here, and today's a great day because we are back playing Dark Cloud 2, something that I've neglected for quite some time, um, but I've wanted to get back to because I've grinded a hell of a lot. As you can see right here, I've almost put 16 hours into the game, um, but I haven't progressed with the story at all. So I've been kind of holding myself back from playing the game because I want to record the story and everything. So I want to go through our characters items. We have a ton of stuff here, right? We've got everything pretty much sorted out, which is me being anal retentive. And then I've got a bunch of items down here, like extra weapons, some additional clothing, um, some ride pod stuff. Uh, hey, Carla, how you doing? <laughs> you never bother me. I got a photo album, some notebooks, some inside scoop. Let me know how my audio sounds. Let me actually look. Let me make sure I sound okay. I can maybe turn the game up a little bit more. Okay. Tired as always. You and me both. All right. So I've I've built her uh, weapon up to the Chora, and that's <clears throat> I'm two levels in on the Chora. It's like uh, four or five upgrades from her normal sword. And then I haven't upgraded this yet, uh, but I should be getting close. I was focusing on her sword. And then for Max, I still have this. And then I think... No, I still have the same bell trigger that we had last time. But uh, let's go check the town out. <clears throat> uh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Sedane. So there was... um. Yeah, I have been busy. Um, I've just been literally grinding because I was... I ended the stream last time because I couldn't find any glass material. And it was stupid. I could have bought it from uh, the dude on the train. So this is my town so far. Um, we've had it. We have to had some, some people in here. So we have Melaine in here. She's the weapons dealer in uh, the normal town. I forget the town's name. We have Aunt Polly, who was the bakery woman who decided to come here. Here's the normal hobbit house or whatever they're called. I moved uh, the gardener guy in here into the hut, Gordon. And then... Uh, the maid woman. There's, there's, a, there's a woman in Max's house that's a maid... That you get to move in here. You just have to give her some items to build uh, that extra pair of clothing that I had in my in my inventory. Uh, Adele. So if we go up and we look at the analysis. What I needed to do was um, have Adele reside in Sedane for the tailor shop restored. Then I need to have Polly reside in Sedane uh, for the eatery restored. The weapon shop, Mullane. And uh, I already had Gordon uh, up here. Elder Jurak revived. So what I've been pre preventing myself from doing is uh, going to the future and seeing how everything changes. So I don't know if I have to go a couple times. Oh, she's in my party right now because she gives me weapon, weapon experience bonuses, if I'm not mistaken. Or it's, it's, it's bonuses when upgrading weapons or something like that. Welcome. My store is now open. Come in. Don't be shy. We <laughs> have some rare monster transforming Oh, I needed those. He's got a he's got a shop in his nose. Good day. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Tommy plays games. Now, uh, 
Update this real quick. I don't know why he's got uh, a shop in his nose. I mean, that would probably prevent him from breathing, right? Time to take a trip to the future! He looks like so like, like groggy, but we need to get some medals. So this is a good thing. We just got some monster transform badges. Better get one fast before it's too late. Alright, so we can get some other clothes. I don't know what this does, but I kind of want to just have it. Dark coin. Uh, Himura badge. So get that. Gift capsule. Put an item inside as a present to a mon to a monster. Yes, buy a monster badge, please. Gold paint. I've been told not to buy gold paint right away because you can get it in a later mission. Uh, what was the other one down here? Ah, uh, there we go. All right, so we got some stuff. Let's look for some chests around here because I, I. I think every time, like, it has me go to the... Oh, shoot. What happened? I love this game. I just bought it on a PS4 sale. Dude, this game is so awesome, Tommy. What? If I use this badge, I can transform into monsters. I can change myself into the Hamara monsters directly. Nice. Then we can mix in with them and maybe get our hands on that sun drop we need. Got it. Nice. Nice. Then we'll be able to make the flower bloom. Dude. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tommy, I bought this game, like, uh, six months ago for, like, 15 bucks. <laughs> God, it's up for $3.99 right now. And it's such a great game, and it's got so much depth to it. So much depth, dude. So let's go to the forest floor where the Hamara monsters show up. All right. Why is that person following me? Leave me alone. I like how they came in my shot, though. That was kind of cool. Alright, so I don't see any chests. So let's go ahead and go back to the past. Nope, only this one. It was called Dark Cloud Chronicle in the UK. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, it was. You know what? I was always confused for the longest time. I was like, but it's Dark Cloud. Why is it Chronicle? And I was like, oh yeah, UK. Okay, so let's go. I just should have warped there, but it's fine. Uh, Tommy, you played this game back on the PS2 when it was uh, originally came out? Now watch, so if you look at uh, how many monsters I've cleared, 403, not many there, not many there, I don't want to go there. <laughs> I guess I only went through there once. Yeah, <laughs> this floor had a bunch of monsters, so I just kept clearing it because it had a ton of monsters in it, and clearly I've, I've cycled through that one a ton of times. Alright, so I think we need to go here, right? Uh, I don't know what the Humero monster is. Next? Oh, it's just telling me to go here. Alright, so we'll just go here. Probably should have saved it, actually. Hopefully it's not a mistake. Turn into a Humera monster. Wait. Eh. Do I? Oh, they were. Okay. Thank you, Carla. 
I'm a... She said the Humera monsters are those flower-looking monsters. So I'm going to go run... I don't see where they wouldn't be on the... I don't see they wouldn't be on the last floor, like this one, right? There's this white seal, so no healing there. Grotesque spider lady. Well, I know they're here, so let's just go here. You have to go in a dungeon, I believe, and transform in and talk to one, I think. Okay. You're going to see how savage now uh, Monica's weapon is. I did I did some grinding. I'm not going to lie. All right, so... I'm sure, but it's been a while since I played this. Well, your guess is as good as mine. And right now, since I don't have a guess, we're going to take yours. Yeah, you're right. All right, so let's go back here. Uh, but how can you? How can I transform though? Oh, I think I know what to do. No. There we go. Thanks, man. Here. I had a weird dream last night. I was talking to humans. Everyone knows humans can't talk. Weird. <clears throat> I'm a flower fa fa tail. I hear those rams come in charge if they get some premium chicken in their sights. They wash their faces? I'll get all the otherwise. Oh, man. Now to kill him? Oh, shit! So I, I could talk to the flowers, but like all the other, all the other guys I could kill. This is going to take a while. <laughs> Let's go sick. Dude, I just wanted to be friends, man. No, screw you. Take my flower head. So, uh, Tommy, when's the last time you played this game, man? Let's see if I get some experience. I want to level up. I think it depends on the monster who you can talk to or fight. Where's my face, you say? How rude. Alright, well. I don't want to get off. Let's talk to this guy real quick, and then I'm going to slaughter all of them. Cheese, cheese, cheese. All those silly sewer rats ever think about is cheese. Well. Yeah! <laughs> You're all dead now. Sorry, my browser froze. I played PS2 when it first came out. So you understand the nostalgia of this game. I remember I got sold on it. Uh, man, I kind of miss the days when... Uh, when there wasn't a lot of information out about games and you just kind of got it from, like, certain magazines, you know what I mean? Because that's how I was. Like, I heard that you can customize, like, your, your weapon and, like, you can build things with different things that you can find around the different towns and stuff. And I was just like, I need this game. I was huge on customization. I still am, to be honest. So once I found out about that, I was like, I'm sold on this. And the... The, the artwork looks great, too. Like, I think it's still timeless, in my opinion. 